In Tableau, you can only show one unit per measure as a text label bar in a chart. There can be a scenario where we want to show sales or revenue measure or any other measure over a dimension or over a period of time. And in that particular scenario, let's say we have selected measure unit as millions. However, some numbers in that particular scenario might be in hundreds and thousands and it will be shown as 0, 0.00 million, which will not make much sense, right? So in this tutorial, I'll be sharing a simple tip on how to show multiple units for a measure in Tableau in a single chart. So without any further delays, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial we are going to learn about a simple tip to show multiple units for a measure in Tableau. As you can see in this chart, on the left hand side in yellow, we are showing the sales by ship mode and you can see here we have like 498k in first class and if you see at the standard class we have 2.2 million. But on the right hand side we are showing the same numbers in different units. For example, for first class, we are showing it as 498.8K and for standard, we are showing it as 2.2 million. So if you see the units here, so that this one is in millions and this one is in thousands. So in the same chart, we are showing different units for a same measure value. So let's see how we can do this. So for this, I will simply create a new workbook and I have already connected it to Asia Pacific Superstore data set. And let's bring ship mode into row shelf and let's bring sales into column shelf. And you will see your bar chart is created and let's enable the text label. And you will see here all the values of the sales are displayed. Now I want to change the sales unit, let's say format it. And by default, if you see in the pane section, we will change the number format from automatic to let's say custom currency. In here, I will change the unit to millions. And by this you will see, oh, by mistake, I have changed it to billion. So let me change it to millions. And you will see here, it's 0 0.50 million and 0 0.16 million. So it's 160,000, right? 160,000. But if I change it to billions, you will see here, it is showing as 0, 0.00 billion, which all of them are showing it that way. So it doesn't make much sense, right? So if we are showing it in millions or billions, all the units might not be in the same granularity. Here I want to actually show 498k, right? Not 0.5 million. And here actually I want to show the actual value, which is similar to, let's say, let's check on this one, which is 162k, right? And here it's showing 0.16 million. So how we can do that? So first of all, I will simply drag sales and create a, another sales measure. And here it's exactly a duplicate chart. This I have created just to show you how it will look. So first of all, we will create a calculated field and I will create a sales calculation. And I will say if sum of sales is greater than or equal to 1 million, then give me sum of sales divided by 1 million. Else if sum of sales is greater than thousand, let's say greater than or equal to one thousand, then give me sum of sales divided by a thousand divided by a thousand here. Else give me just sum of sales and I will end this statement. I will copy this entire thing for creating another unit calculation. So let's click OK. 
and I will bring sales value into text labels. So you will see automatically here, it's giving me 498.8K and this is 2.2 million. So I just need to set the units calculation. So I will create another calculation and I will say units and I will copy the calculation which we created before and I will simply change this into million where it is greater than 1 million and this I will change it to K and the bottom one I will keep it as null. So what I will do here is I will bring the units into label mark as well and I will do a bit of formatting here and I want the units to be displayed after sales. So I will bring sales at the top and I will paste the units and click OK. So you can see here 498.8K and we are also showing 2.2 million here. So just with one simple calculation, we can achieve that. And let me make it a bit bigger. And after doing a bit of formatting, I can achieve that. So here we have dollar mark as a prefix. We can do the same here by simply going to the sales calculation, which we created, go to format and go to number formatting. And you can go to number currency here and put a prefix as a dollar sign here. So it's as simple as that. And after doing a bit of formatting, I want to keep it a dark black color in the background. I want to have the text label in white color and I will make it a little bit bigger. And I don't want any borders. So I will remove all the row divider and column divider and I will go to lines and I don't want to see any grid lines and all the zero lines I want it a bit bolder you can say and I will hide all the excess here and you can also change the colors in this case so like I showed you in initial um, initial dashboard so I can go here and select the colors individually based on your preference and here you can compare both these charts here everything is in millions and here we are showing it in thousands and millions together you can change the unit by updating the calculation if you want to go into billions and so on i hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions feel free to drop me a comment in the section below and i will get back to you as soon as possible Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next session.